I think the domino should not have started to begin with because Greece should have been dealt aggressively immediately, either with a, an immediate default or a complete bailout. I think the domino should not have started and there was a big policy mistake to let the domino start. We're going to solve it, I think, in two ways. One, to man maintaining uh, some uh, austerity, namely uh, keeping the deficit under control uh, as much as possible. But the second uh, pillar is growth enhancing policies, because without growth, even the fiscal austerity is not going to matter. So we need, on the one hand, growth enhancing, liberalizing structural reform and keeping the budget under control. It's not an easy combination, but that's the only way out. Well, unfortunately, this is a recession which is uh, uh, the, re the result of a banking crisis. And as we know from the work by my colleague Ken Rogge, banking crises uh, are a uh, uh, recession caused by banking crises are particularly nasty to come out of precisely because of the issue that of the credit crunch. So in a moment where there are uh, government borrowing like crazy and banks uh, and the need to recapitalize and a credit crunch, it's pretty obvious that there's a very, very serious problem here. And the, the ECB has provided a lot of liquidity to banks, which is, which is uh, a good thing. But at the end of the day, we go back to your first question, without growth, uh, Europe is not going to come out of this. And uh, in order to stimulate growth, we need the supply side reform that have been a bit lacking, particularly in uh, Mediterranean countries. If I think about Italy, who is the country which is at the center of attention, as, as, as you know, and it's a country that has a big debt problem and is too big to be saved and it needs to be saved by itself. There are a couple of key reforms on, of labor market and privatization of certain sectors and liberalization of certain sectors, which are now, everybody knows that that's what needs to be done and they need to be done and there is no question about it. So it's pretty clear that those reforms are key and I hope that the current government will actually do them. Italy is a country that in the moment of crisis they come out with some extraordinary sort of how to call it um, maneuver or move. Uh, this is a government that is not elected. On the other hand it comes in the middle of a political crisis so that nobody wants to do the job that this government is doing and it is not elected on the other hand it has an enormous uh, support i mean the the first f policy that they did which was a f increase in taxes which we may or may not agree with i would have done more government spending but in any event there was a fairly tough maneuver it was passed very quickly by a, by a huge majority in parliament so in some sense, they have the power of the fact that nobody else wants to do what, what they're doing. And the prime minister is uh, an excellent economist, and uh, I have a lot of confidence, even though I may not agree with everything he has done, but I think he is an enormous improvement over the previous one.